All right, it's your boy, Gat Cognac, back with another video. So, it's been a while since I found some pickups, and I've been busy. Busy as ever, so I haven't been able to put videos out lately like I should. But, here I am. That's what matters. So, those of you still around, stick around. So first and foremost, my boy, uh, Pickflip, you've seen, you've seen him on some of the collaboration videos that I've made. Well, good old Pickflip, aka Hero, we made a little deal. So he's done sent me a package. So I'm going to open it up. I did a little trade, gave him a really generous trade. And because, you know, he's been good to me. He's been sending me stuff and he didn't have to. So I do appreciate it, man. But we made a deal. So I was gonna send him a bunch of like some of the Pokemon cases I had because he needed some of them. And I needed a case that he had. So I busted it open. Oh, come on, man. This dude sent me a Game Boy game on top of that too. So there's WWF Superstars. That's funny. I don't know what reason you have to send me this game, but I appreciate it, man. I never played any of the, the old school WWF games besides like WrestleMania on the NES and Super WrestleMania, I believe. So anyways, I'm gonna pop open what he sent. And here it is. Bam! God Hand. Now, this ain't the game game, but he did send, he had an extra, like, this guy has, like, three copies of God Hand and stuff, man. I don't know how he got so many. But, I have a copy of God Hand with, like, a repro cover, so I've been trying to look for a, a complete box case for it, because most of my, like, rare gems are, like, disc only, man. So, he had an extra one, and he was willing to trade me, you know, a couple of things for it. And I'm having like, you know, like a couple Pokemon cases and a couple other stuff. And I was like, all right, man, you know, the crazy thing is like people are trying to sell this freaking case for as much as the game is costing. So I'm like, damn, like $80 for a God hand case. Come on, man. You know, you could buy the game for like what, like 110. So I wasn't going to buy a case. So he ended up having the next one. He sent it to me. Very kind gesture, man. I appreciate it. So why don't we go ahead, pull out my God hand. Oh, I don't know if I get in here or not. And the thing is, my God hand is almost identical with the exception of, uh, like this is, the re this is the repro one. Of course, this one is a little bit more faded than the real deal. But if I turn this back and show you guys, uh, from the backside, you never tell which one is the real God hand, man. But this is the fake one, this is the real one. So I'm gonna put the real disc, which I got in a lot for like 30 bucks with a bunch of other stuff back in the days. I finally get to reunite it with the case, man. So it's in immaculate condition, man. So I'm pop that thing in, bam! I can feel the energy right now to just vibrating in my hand because it's back to its rightful place you know it's tired of being in this fake ass box right here i can finally retire this case man so perfect good stuff so i appreciate it pick flip aka hero go ahead and check out his youtube channel i'll leave that in the description and support him man he's up and coming the guy has some pretty good pickups and he's out there in texas so there you there's your 15 seconds of fame all right let's get on with the video so i wake up in the morning i see somebody post up like just a bunch of random stuff for for super cheap and i had messaged them and i don't know i guess people were like blowing them up 
going like, man, this stuff's worth hella more than that, blah, 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 blah. And so I had bought this lot off of the person for 120 bucks. So let me show you guys what it is. First off, there was a mini, is that what, a Super Nintendo Junior is what this thing is called. So I've been wanting one of these because you know, the big one's kind of clunky. So having this one is a little better for me. Even though they say you can't plug this in and get the high def with it, but you can mod these things. So I might do that. But I like it, man. It didn't come with any uh, controllers or anything like that, but I've been wanting one. So, hey, because this little thing, I don't know, it's probably like a $60, $70 piece right here without the controls alone. I don't know why, but this thing is worth a little bit more than the fat ones, which is understandable because they don't crack easy, but they are a little bit more cheaper made. So with all that, it came with... Um, some controllers let me show you guys came with a, a blue Dreamcast controller so I don't see these around that much but these are worth a little money it's like $30 34 35 I don't know something like that so pretty cool color I'll keep this and I don't know if I want to keep these or not but I should man so the person had this grape Nintendo 64 controller. It's pretty good, man. It's not too wobbly or anything like that. So they're pretty good con condition, but they got the grape color one, which fetches for a good price, man. These go for like around $40 a piece. So I got that. Along with that, they also had the, the green one. So jungle green. And this one, remotes in good condition as well, man. So this one's a little cheaper because I think this one's a little bit more common but still goes for like a good 35 to $37. So, hell, good stuff already, man. And then I got the watermelon color one. And I'd say this one's a little bit more rare. So, also good, not all jacked up. So this has been pretty much sitting in this person's like garage or, or storage. And so, yeah, I got those. And along with that, it came with a VMU. So, you know, those go for like 12 to 15 bucks. Good to have. And I also noticed there was Kirby's Dreamland in that lot. And this is complete in box, man. So I don't really collect Game Boy games, uh, but I do really like Kirby. And I believe this is, this is probably the first Kirby to have ever came out, man. So good to have. It's on Game Boy. It comes with the game itself which is in pretty decent condition i guess the back side has a little yellowing but hey not bad the like, uh, instruction booklet's pretty decent just got a little fold in there maybe bust out the iron iron it out a little bit and the box the box not too bad has a little tear on the tab right there but Still good, man. And I do like Kirby, man. So I'm just gonna beat this. Plug this into the Game Boy Player. And just beat this thing. So I don't know what I'm doing with that yet, but it's it's good stuff. Like I've seen this thing going for. I mean, the price is just going up, but average price goes for maybe like 80 to 90, and that's in like kind of beat up condition. Like I've seen some conditions that are around like this condition. They go for like 100 bucks and up. So, good stuff, man. All these Game Boy stuff is like worth dough, dude. But I know nothing about Game Boy like that because I didn't really, you know, get the chance to play this one when I was young. I always got the ball or something like that. So, we got that. And then also it came with uh, Harvest Moon for N64. So, I guess, uh, I don't know. I can't tell if it's faded or not, but it looks pretty decent. So, Harvest Moon. It's like a $50 game. Um, so, I mean, come on. I paid $120 for it all. The Kirby game itself and like the BMU probably pays for the whole thing. But I end up getting like all this stuff. And man, that alone is like double or more than double the value of everything. So, I got pretty good on that. So, I got it. 
And I've been playing the Super Nintendo. It's been great, man. Been having fun with it. So glad I got that stuff. And so when I rolled up on them, because I saw they had like some other stuff on the listing. And the main thing was they had listed individually, like uh I'm gonna show you right now. Here it goes, man. They had Fire Emblem, Path of Radiance, and check it out. This thing is sealed, man. Freaking sealed, brand spanking new. And they had it up for like 500 bucks because people were like, like straight up messaging them like crazy and like trying to tell them, oh, this thing is worth like, you know, heck of money and blah, blah, blah. Because initially they put it up for like 60, man. I was like, damn, dude. And so I was messaging them. I was like, yeah, I'm interested in all the other stuff you got. So I don't know, maybe we can make a deal or something. So I rolled all the way over there and they had a bunch of other stuff with it. So let's see. They had um, Castlevania as well. So Castlevania 4. This one's complete in box and even has like the little, what you would call it in there. So I'm busted out for you. And they listed this up for like 300 bucks, man. Like, I was like, man, people were like straight up hating. And they were just trying to get this dude to like, you know, raise the price and all that stuff. Trying to hate on my ass because I'm over there trying to get everything for like a good price. But this one is in pretty damn good shape, man. Like, has a color manual. Um, I think it has like some writing up in there, but passwords and stuff, but nothing too bad. Um, it's got this little consumer manual. The Konami registration card. So you rarely like see these like in its full glory. Not too much. But I've seen these like a really beat up one goes for like 160. And we're gonna get back to that. But check it out. We've got this uh, thing right here again. You guys remember this uh, poster that I showed you from another SNES pickup. So we got one of those up in there as well. So I got two of these posters. But yeah, so this came complete, man. As And at the same time, the, the game is in like really good condition. Shoot. It's like nobody even played it, man. That's how good it is. Still in the cellophane. Cartridge is all, all good, man. So, good stuff, man. But... So I'm rolling over there, like messaging this person, and this is how, like, I'm gonna tell you guys what exactly happened. So I got over there, and I'm over here, like, negotiating. And they basically had other stuff with it, too, that they were gonna throw in, like Donkey Kong Country. I already have that complete in box, so now I got two of these things, man. And it does come with the game and manual. Manual's in damn good condition. So this is like a good 50 bucks right here anyways. Let's see. Try to put that back. All right, cool. And let me just show you some of the other stuff before, before we talk about the main thing. All right. So it came with some like PS2 games, nothing too crazy, but First things first, Space Channel 5, it came with that. This is starting to be a more expensive game. It has both discs, but no manual. And it still could command about 25 bucks. Complete in box, I've seen these for about $40 and, and up. So it's going up in value. Then we got three DDR games right here. I'm not gonna waste too much time with these, but these go for about like 10 bucks a piece. I don't really play DDR. Last time I played it was when I was like 15 or something like that. So yeah, but here's the thing. They have a couple other things that was crazy too. There's two Sonic Adventures up in here. So one of them is actually sealed, which is like the original copy, not the not for resale. And this Sonic Adventure is the All-Stars one. So All-Stars go for about 35 to 40 bucks. And um, the sealed Sonic Adventures, man, like, shoot. You get a hundred bucks for this. 
and mine is not like in the best sealed condition so I'm, I'm just saying like 90 to 100 bucks but sealed in, in brand spanking new good condition goes for like 140 so good stuff man so I'm ready like in the money in the money for all this stuff but I'm gonna tell you how I paid for this whole thing man so I went there and pretty much negotiated like crazy <laughs> and dude I don't know man so the person wanted fire emblem $500 man and when I rolled up on them I was like man come on that that's that's hella expensive like it's gonna be hard to get that for that much and they wanted like 300 for Castlevania and they was trying to tell me like oh this is brand new because they thought it was you know in this container that it was new I'm like nah man and I'm telling them like on eBay look like 160 dude like come on that's too crazy man so I was able to like talk them down man I was talking it down like crazy and I was like how, like what can I get for like the fire emblem and the Castlevania like what could you do for me you know and they're like man all right because they were like like this game is like a thousand dollars man like that like the people have been messaging me man they've been hating on your ass gack they've been telling telling me that this is worth a thousand bucks and I'm like I had to pull out the phone and I'm like, dude, like it's only worth a thousand if it's graded. You know, you got to check out this out. Like if it says like VGA graded like nine out of 10, 10 out of 10. Yeah, these could worth a thousand something dollars. But because it's not graded, man, you can't command that price. So I had to like bring them down into value, dude. It's crazy. But I was there for like a good solid 30 minutes. I'm like, man, like, come on. Like what's the best deal you could do for me for like the fire emblem and the castlevania since i paid like basically 120 for all the rest of the stuff um they was like man all right man 500 for both i'm like man that that's a little pricey man i already bought all this stuff off you and like at the same time you was gonna list it for like you know like 60 dollars for everything dude like you gotta work with me here and at the same time, like eBay is gonna take all the fees. You're, you're never gonna be able to get all that all at once, man. It's gonna take time. And so, like you know, up and down, up and down. And I believe I had talked it all the way down to like four. I was like, come on, man, let me get it for like four hundred. You know, four hundred for both. And they was like, man, they're like four fifty. Like that, right? And I said, like, meet me halfway at 425. And, and we got a deal, man. And so they were like, all right, man, five hours more, man. Can you do five hours more, 430? So I'm like, all right, I'll do it for 430. So all in all, total for all this stuff that I got together, I paid 430 plus the 120. So that makes it one, no. 550 so which is damn crazy right if you think about it this game sealed is gonna keep going in price like somebody flexible might sell this for like you might have you might catch somebody slipping selling this for like 300 350 but I've seen a crap ton of these going for like $500 right now which is like damn so if you really count that price for a sealed fire emblem I basically paid full price for Fire Emblem and got all the rest of the stuff for for $50. However you want to figure it out, I believe I did all the calculations. The games are worth like all in all total 1300 bucks. So, you know, more than doubled my money. Can't complain. So yeah, short little video, nothing too big because it has been slow lately, but I'm trying to put out what I can, but you know, I got, I need the, you know, I need the blessings to come in, man. My good karma need to like come in, but usually if I have a slow, slow drought, two, three week drought, something good's got to come, man. The law of averages, right? But it has been crazy. Like every time something comes up, it's been getting snatched up or I'm getting cock blocked and all that. Tough, tough, man. So that's all I have for 
this pickup, man. So hope you guys enjoyed the little short but sweet pickup. I mean, some of these games people would kill for. So I'm glad I got it. Fire Emblem, I'm glad I have this. My, my homie's been trying to tell me, like, you should get it graded, man. You know, and I was like, well, it has like a little bit of tear on the back, but because I still like get it graded, man. It's, it's still going to be worth a little bit more for the 75 bucks you spend or whatever. So I'm like, I'm considering it, man. I'm considering it. So anyways, getting late. So this is your boy, Gak Cognac, signing out. Hope to see you guys the next on the next video. So stay tuned. And as usual, like and subscribe to these videos so you guys can get notified for future videos. All right, I'll see you guys later.